Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora machismo. My people, it was another beautiful day for a protest and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Let me first remind you, the front of my sign says I don't want the white man's money, his woman, his friendship and or his fame. And the reverse of my sign says, white man, why have you enslaved the African American? My people, all in all, it was another beautiful day for a protest and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. And as you know, when I am finished protesting, it is always my pleasure and my delight to come to you and bring you something from the Most High God. My people, for over the past few months that I've been bringing these messages, messages to you after my protest, I've been bringing some real heavy, heavy, heavy things from the Most High God. And I know there's a lot of people who are still questioning what I'm saying. For one thing, you have never heard these kind of teachings before. And although you cannot find any flaw in it, you are wondering, are these things true? Why haven't we heard the conventional preachers bring these things to us? Like the fact that no one can murder you unless you have participated in homosexuality, bestiality, or abortion. If you are raped, kept your rape silence and caused your rapists to go about and make other victims. If you not they fall in one of those categories, the devil himself can hate you, but he cannot kill you. All he can do is cause you some minor inconveniences. My people, if you are an Israelite, this is the promise to you from the Most High God. And we know the Israelites are the direct descendants of the children of the transatlantic slave trade. We are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My people, there's something I wanted to tell you. Exodus 14:14. 14, 14, when Moses was confronted with Pharaoh and his army in the back and the Red Sea in the front, there was nowhere for him to go. He remembered something that the Most High said to him to tell to his people, the Israelites. Something that he had told them on numerous occasions. And when Moses remembered this, you know what he did? He said, listen to me, hold your peace, for the Most High God is going to fight your battle. Previously, he have told them the Most High will fight your battle. But now, they are caught between the Red Sea and Pharaoh and his army who is willing to kill them. He bring it into a affirmative. Now, be quiet, for the Most High God is going to fight your battle. My people, the Most High inspired Moses to bring this back to the memory of the Israelites because he wanted to make sure that they know who is taking care of business on his behalf, on their behalf. So when the east wind came and blew and the Red Sea stand up on two sides, leaving dry ground for the Israelites to pass through. Remember the pillow of, of fire was behind them so Pharaoh couldn't come to them. They walked through on dry ground. Then Moses declared, you see these people who hate us? who wants to kill us, the Egyptians today, you will never see them again. And when Pharaoh and, and his army went into the Red Sea in pursuit of the children of the Most High God, our parents, 
he closed the Red Sea. And Pharaoh, his chariots, his horses, and all of his men perish in the Red Sea. The Most High God has promised that he is going to fight our battles. And whether you believe it or not, it is his desire to fight all of our battles, not some, not most, but every battle that we have to fight. The Psalmist David says, I was young, but now I'm old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seeds of the Most High begging bread. My people, we have to be careful that when we are successful in whatever our endeavors are, that we don't take the credit for our success for ourselves. Because success only comes by the hands of the Most High God. There is nothing that you can do to secure your success. You can try as hard as you want to try. But unless the Most High God have ordained it that you be successful, there is no success for you. My, my people, every good thing, every good thing that we experience is gift. They are all gifts from the Most High God. The Most High God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said that through his son, Yahawasha. Whenever the Most High speaks to you directly or through his prophets, whether he tell you it in a dream, in a premonition, or whether he impress it upon your heart, those words that are uttered to you in whatever means have to come to pass. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says, If you dil diligently keep my command, if you diligent, if you pay close attention to the things that I tell you, and you diligently do what I say, all of the things that your heart desire is going to be given to you. He's going to ensure that your children, your food basket, and your wealth are taken care of. But most of us are not diligent in the way we serve the Most High, in the way we live our life. We are supposed to live every day as if the Most High God is taking care of business on our behalf. My people, it does not mean that you will not get temptation that is so overwhelming that you want to give in. But you have to remember that when such temptation come, tell the Most High, Father, I want to give in. It's overwhelming, but I know you don't want me to give in. So I am depending on you to take me through this time of peril, this time of weakness, this time of fleshy desires. And when we do that, he is going to do the rest and you will not even expect the way he was going to handle this on our behalf my people the most high knows that in this generation is the most terrible time in earth's history let me tell you something elijah and those guys did not have the devils to contend with, I mean the Caucasians, with all of the supernatural and demonic powers. You understand? Today, it is more, it is more dangerous for your spiritual well-being than it has ever been in the history of man. Because these devils that we see walking around here on two legs, that look like us, speak like us, Song like us, but they are not of us. They have more powers than you will ever realize. They have the ability to influence your thoughts, to play with your emotions, to affect your desires without your knowledge. And when you think that all of these things are happening to you, it's because you are straying. No, it is because they are using their demonic forces to impact you to ensure that you fail, to ensure that you dishonor God. But the Most High God is there waiting patiently for you to ask Him for help. And when you ask Him for help, 
he is going to provide the help that you need. And when you got through that period of temptation, that period where the devil was able to overwhelm you and you wanted to give in, you would be so happy that he didn't give in. But you have to rely on the Most High God because you cannot do it for yourself. In the same way, the devil has given them the authority and the power to do all of these things. You have to depend on your Father, the Most High God, to give you the power, not even the power, to do what you cannot do for you, and then he will give you the credit. My people, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, but the most high seeds begging bread. When I just came to California, the white man sent out a lot of his reprobates, and their sole objective was to use my ignorance to try to deceive me into becoming a slave. My people, it is a good thing that the Most High have blessed me with a strong mind and a strong will. Not a person who wants to please others, but a person who do what he thinks or knows is right. My view today, if you see them, they're all walking with cane and can barely move, pushing walkers. And guess what? I am older than most of them. Their hair has come gray and tattered. These are the people the Caucasians tried to use to deceive me into becoming a slave. My people, when I see them, all I do, I laugh and I say, thank you, Mosai, because your word are sure and true. And all those who come up against you or your people is going to perish and they're going to suffer. And I'm looking at them suffering every day. This week, I saw two new ones. One with a cane can barely walk and one pushing a, a stroller. All I could do is laugh and say, Most High God, I thank you. For it is you who kept me from these slaves who were trying to make me just like them. My people, my name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora. Machismo. <laughs>